Ta-da! Hello again, it's Bettina here from the Art of Balance Yoga and Massage. This evening, I'm going to film a little headstand tutorial, a bound headstand tutorial. There's been an urgent request. <laughs> and I just wanted to give you a little impression as to what the studio looks like in the evening. I know the lighting here for filming is not perfect, but bear with me. Um, yeah. So this is filmed in the times of the uh, coronavirus pandemic. And I hope you're all going okay. I hope you're all staying safe, well and healthy. So this is simply a snippet of a practice, just a little tutorial. Um, I mean, it could be all you do, but it could, of course, be a part of your practice, perhaps inversions at the end of a longer practice. Yeah, so just making sure you know your body well, you have practiced before, you have medical clearance to be exercising and to be practicing yoga. So there is a tutorial on the tripod headstand, but this one is the bound headstand. So in my classes, we measure the distance between our left and our right shoulder with hugging the biceps. So I often say measure your biceps, mum. Yeah, and then you're bringing your elbows on the mat and you make that indentation. So you're just going to see where the elbows are. That's right underneath your shoulders, yeah? Beautiful. Then covering that indentation. So the, the center of the palm of the hand covers that. Beautiful. And then it's very important to spread the fingers. Knuckles, heel of the hand. Where is it? This is your foundation, yeah? Good. No, that's tripod headstand. Yo, let's do that briefly. <laughs> tripod, tripod and bound, okay. Top of the head comes forward, building a triangle with the palm of the hand and with your head. There is a, just a gentle, light, gentle touch down. Yeah, and your shoulders move away from the ears, elbows in. This is your setup. We're not going to go any further. Good. Bound head stand, same measurement. Yeah. Elbows onto the floor. And then you swivel open on the elbow joint. You interlace your fingers down. You know, you're closing this, and then the um, the palm of the hand forms like a singing bowl, a half circle, muesli bowl, I often say, and that little pinky tucks under, so it doesn't take all the weight. Yeah, thumbs can touch, and then it's the same idea. The top of the head, and sometimes it may may take you quite some time to find what's the top of the head, touches down. But the moment it touches down, you push into your forearms. Can you see? You lift your shoulders away from your ears. So there is length. It's this action here. Yeah? Depending on your dimensions, maybe the whole head, maybe just part of the back of the head, cradles into the palms here. Beautiful. And this could be your setup for quite some time. Just be comfortable with this. So when I'm sitting, it would be like this. It's not a hunching. It's a dropping the shoulders down. Oops. Because all our inversions, headstand, tripod, um, bound headstand, you know, headstand with just fingers or free balance, it's core strength, it's shoulders, it's belly, it's thighs, it's bandhas, it's everything. It's not sinking down into the head. So let's do that again, measure. So don't just be ticklish here. You know, it's a real measuring. Open, so the elbows don't all of a sudden go long. No, like this. Solid. So your wrists push down. Often when I come out of my headstand, if I've been long enough in, up there, the, ribs the wrists collapse. Not useful, not safe. This pushes down. The whole thing, the wrists, um, outside edges of the hand. Coming down, pushing into the forearms lengthen. So you can be here for a while. If you know the practice, if you might go further, the next step would be knees underneath your hips. Otherwise, this is too short a distance. And then tuck your toes under, and it's as if you're coming into dolphin or downward facing dog. And can you see? I can lift my head off the floor. Legs are solid. Belly is drawn in. Bundles are engaged. Pushing into the forearms. I always say in my classes, I need to be able to put a piece of paper between your head and your mat. Or a chocolate wrapper. <laughs> okay. All right, so you're here. If this becomes easeful and go, okay, I've got the strength, then you walk in. This is what we teach here. 
one leg straight and the other leg, that knee comes into the chest. And you just come forward, you take the weight a little into your upper arms, a lot into your upper arms, knee, that knee comes into the, into the belly. This is boat pose, strength from your core. And then at the same time, you push your forearms into the mat. You draw that knee to the chest, you engage your bandhas. Your body has no other option than to come up. Yeah. Okay. So stage one, stage two. Did I say this? Shorten the distance, walk in, walk in, walk in. Until you feel like, if I go any further, I'm going to topple. And then just play with this. You lift onto that back toe, push the forearms down, and then just drawing up. This is strong. Hmm. There's other ways of going up, but I find that that gives you the sense of strength from drawing that knee into the chest. That Can you see that bow pose activity? It's like, yes, here. No collapsing. And... You also have, with this position, you have control with this foot here. So you're not coming into a bounce. And it's just a little elbows pushing down. The core lifts. And as everything wants to lift up, that's not on the floor. Yeah, so the forearms come down. The wrists come down. The outer edge of the hand comes down. It's that idea knee into the chest, belly engaged, and then there is, ah, at some stage there's a lightness, and you practice, you practice for weeks, you practice for months, you practice for years, all of a sudden you have the strength, you have the memory, and it's just light, all of a sudden there's a lifting up. I would recommend no bouncing, because where's the point, you know, if you bounce up, it's like, it's too much on the neck, then the body has to find that equilibrium, that balance, while you go up. That's not useful for the neck. And that may be bringing you that sort of sense of satisfaction, but it's not safe. And, and what's the point of the headstand anyway then? Yeah? The idea is to build the sense of patience and the sense of connection to your physical body with the breath, with everything engaged. And then it's just beautiful. And the final pose is so light. And even when we're up in our full head bound headstand, um, Baddha Sasasana, there is lightness. And the only thing grounding down is really here, here, here. Everything else lifts up. Yeah, inversions are light. Beautiful, the light, the lifting. I hope this has inspired you to have the patience um, to practice headstand Sasasana. Not to shy away from it. If you don't normally practice with me, find a teacher that you know can guide you. Um, do find that inner patience, but also the joy. Yeah. So again, measure, swivel open on the elbow joint, close this, solid. Head just tickles down. There is hardly any weight the whole time on the top of the head. Remember that piece of paper needs to be able to. Come underneath your head, between head and mat. Yeah, this is good. Lift the head, so have these little push-ups here. Toddle in, solid. Knee, and then pushing down. And then once you're there, you can kind of go, okay, okay, I can just balance here. Yeah, okay. Shoulders long. There's no pain in the neck, no pain in the head. This is light. Yeah. I can lift up. Beautiful. And then eventually just find your alignment. And we can play with variations. We can play with L-shape. Counterbalance. balance. Find, I like a forward hero pose or a hybrid between forward hero and child's pose. You know, we can make a traditional feel into it. And you can notice from my breathing, this is strong. You know, this is solid work. But it's fun also. Keep it safe, my yogi friends. Keep it safe. Keep the patience. Weight off the head. The neck is long, this idea. You know, every diamond facing dog, every dolphin gives you the strength and the understanding. I love headstand. Don't dismiss it in your practice. Watch the uh, tutorial for the tripod headstand. Um, 
yeah, we love that. There's a blog post also with pictures as to how to get in. No bouncing. Not, not safe. Not useful. Thanks for practicing with me tonight. Namaste. Oh, yeah. Subscribe to the channel. And also, what did my children say? Push the button of notification. It's all good. You can even practice online with me via Zoom. Mm -hmm. Ciao. Send me a request. Let me know how you're going. And have fun. Corona hug. Whoops. Where will this go in 10 years' time? Ciao. Namaste. Pressing stop so I don't have to edit.